this is our secondary treated wastewater from the regional wastewater facility. This is. I don't know what they're getting in my face. The water after it's gone through our three processes. They are approving the regulations that will govern uh, direct potable reuse, meaning um, you, you know, treating this water to a standard where it can be either served directly to customers or go to a drinking water treatment plant. And it says on here, it tastes like water because it is water. So. Um, True, we have a wastewater treatment facility first that makes it um, very clean and then we have additional processes to make it to drinking water standards. So there's a whole um, technology in between the toilet and the taps. Yeah, I mean, we live in California where the drought uh, happens all the time and with climate change it will only get worse. And this is a drought resistant supply that we will need um, in the future to meet the demands of our communities. And so that's why we opened this facility. Yeah, so there is a, a very extensive um, advanced water treatment process and it uh, goes through three stages. So microfiltration, reverse osmosis, and ultraviolet light disinfection, and the water is pure water at the end. Reverse osmosis is really the heart of this technology. Um, before reverse osmosis, the water... Yes, I would absolutely feel comfortable drinking the water produced there, especially after seeing all the technology, all the hard work that our operators do, and all of the advanced technologies that go into actually cleaning the water. And when you see the water before it enters the facility and at the end, it looks very pure and clean. and water is just too valuable to only use once. So I would say, yes, this is expensive water, but we cannot afford not to have any water at all.